hey guys welcome back to my channel called how to um, today I'll demonstrate how we can uh, configure a GRE okay so GRE stands for a generic routing encapsulation so it's a protocol it's a basically it's a tunneling protocol which was developed by Cisco right which like the basic working principle of GRE is what it what it does is it just like you know encapsulate a wide variety of protocols packets okay it, it encapsulates the packets right inside one tunnel inside one IP tunnel uh, creating a virtual point-to-point -point link okay that's that's how GRE works okay we will we'll have a look how we can configure those point-to-point -point virtual links right we'll create a tunnel right and uh, <clears throat> it just provide encapsulations right so it's not that secure so for security measures for security security concerns we have we need to use um like you know an ipsec over gre and so on so we can cover those things in later on like you know, in upcoming videos but on like to just uh, to just uh, give an overview about gre it, it just provide an encapsulation okay so um like our, our our this topology consists of um, r1 r2 and r3 i have taken three different routers okay our r2 will be an isp and between r1 and r3 right so this region will be acting as a public uh, network okay so meaning by uh, <coughs> uh, this will be in public uh, uh, like you know uh, internet facing interfaces and they are reachable okay they are uh, reachable okay right now they are not reachable as i haven't configured i think uh, those parameters but yes in practical scenario uh, yes, in the public network means and they will be reachable okay so uh, in r1 i will be using one loopback interface of uh, this address okay <clears throat> in r3 i'm going to use uh, this loopback interface right so between r1 and r3 we're gonna create a tunnel okay we'll be having a tunnel right uh, we'll be having an channel uh, and for for my tunnel interfaces i'll be using this network right 193.168.100/24 in r1 i'll be using dot one ip right 20.1 and in r3 20.3 okay so let's quickly jump in uh, uh, like you know so in these uh, consoles okay and let's let's configure all these things right <coughs> sorry so what i'll do um I'll jump in in R1 interface. I have already already configured um, IP address, okay, on the interface. So do so IP interface brief. I'll try to ping um, R2's one interface IP 12.1.2 just to check and reachability, okay. Ping. Um, I do wanna ping 23.1.1.3 do ping 23.1.3 okay i'm just trying to ping r3 is one interface ip i think it's not reachable okay because i haven't configured any default route over here in r1 okay so what i'll do i'll configure a default route over here ip route i'll just show you the route as well do so ip route okay i don't have any static or any default route right and even i don't have any like you know uh, routing protocols enabled okay so ip protocol okay i don't have any routing any igp is running over here so i'm quickly gonna um, configure one default route 12.1.1.2 okay so what i'll do i'll quickly jump into r3 um, and i'll verify if i have connectivity Okay. I have just given the host name as India and Nepal. Okay, uh, ping um, 23.1.2. Right, so I do have a reachability towards my ISP. So IP route, I don't have any static route. Do I have? Yes, I do have a static route. Right, so the default route pointing towards my ISP. Okay, so I'll just quickly try to uh, ping R1's R1's uh, one interface IP. That's 12.1.1.1. Just to check if we have any reachability. Um, yes i do have right so what next i uh, we do have an reachability so i'll be configuring um tunnel interface in r1 <coughs> i'm sorry um interface tunnel um give it a name give it a number okay it can be any number and we can use uh, two different numbers between 
um, R1, like in, in like in in like different locations. Okay, it's, it doesn't matter. So interface tunnel 10. Um, what I'm gonna use? Uh, so tunnel IP. Interface tunnel 10. Um, IP address. What will be our IP address? 193.168.20.1, right? 255.255.255.0. Okay. So I'll just increase the screen. I'll just enlarge it just to show you the message. Okay. So IP address is configured. Now what? We need to we need to define a source, right? What will be the source of our uh, like tunnel? Okay. So so the tunnel IP uh, like dot one has been defined. So now my tunnel source should be from which interface like you know my packets will be routed. It will be in one one, right? So my tunnel source would be dual dot one dot one one, right? And the tunnel destination would be. 23.1.1.3 right routers r31 interface ip so as soon as um, i hit the hit the hit enter uh, we just uh, uh, got one notification right uh, on, on, in our screen it's line protocol on interface tunnel 10 changed state to up so our tunnel interface is up right so even this message have a logic okay uh, meaning by um, what 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 it does when well, like you know as soon as you enter tunnel tunnel destination and with the, with the IP address right what uh, this router will do router will check its routing table for this destination does it have valid route for reaching out to this destination or not okay if router don't uh, like you know one having any 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 routes uh, reaching out to this destination address this tunnel interface uh, won't come up okay so that's an pretty cool uh, like you know uh, uh, trick how you can like you know uh, verify if like what's wrong like you know what what's 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 going wrong okay so just to demonstrate um, what I can do is um, I do have a route right static route okay because we do have an uh, sorry default route right uh, pointing uh, towards an RISP if in case if I'll uh, set my interface of R1 down I won't be setting down an interface. It's about all. What I'll do, I'll just uh, no IP route. I'll be removing this route, okay, just to let you know. 0, uh, 12.1.1. What I'll be doing, I'll, I'll just remove my uh, default route pointing towards ISP. So as soon as I, I will be removing this default route, we'll get one notification, okay? Like the tunnel 10 interface would, would, would go down, okay? So that's the expectation here. Um, 12.1.1.2 okay sorry hold on a second I uh, give it a moment um, let's wait I'm expecting like you know once uh, the tunnel interface uh, would go down see um, line protocol on interface tunnel 10 is now down right so which means if there is no any like you know a route of uh, reaching out to this tunnel destination we will get one notification right because that tunnel is down okay so i'll again uh, quickly reconfigure my default route pointing towards my isp i'll get one notification it will be up okay my tunnel interface would be up right so what i'll do i'm, I'm done with that part right i'll just quickly jump into r3 okay and my host name is Nepal. What I'll be doing, I'll be configuring one tunnel interface tunnel. Interface tunnel 10. Um, I can use any number, but I just prefer to use 10. Okay. Um, hold on a second. It's taking a bit time. Okay. Interface tunnel 10. IP address 193.168.20.2 and my subnet right what will be our tunnel source tunnel source will be our public IP of R3 that would be 23.1.1.3 and our tunnel destination would be um, 12.1.1.1 R1's public IP right so that's it 
uh, <coughs> we have done like you know with our tunnel part right so the configuration is like pretty simple right we have um, our formed our like you know virtual point to point um, link uh, between r1 and r3 so i can verify i i'll just ping my r1's <coughs> tunnel ip okay 193.168.20.1 i'm expecting here we should be getting a reply right see we are reachable right so which means we have successfully created our tunnel okay it's reachable now um, so this part is done our logical tunnel interface is configured with the respective ip parameters right and i would have a reachability between um, r1's tunnel interface and r3's tunnel interface now what we'll be doing next is we'll be creating uh, i think uh, already loopback interface is created we will try okay what our, our lab is uh, we need to have a reachability okay for reaching out uh, r1s and r3s loopback interfaces okay from tunnel only so for this okay what i'll be doing i'll be using eigrp okay i'll be using eigrp between r1 and r3 and uh, i'll be advertising the network of my loopback interface in the routers r1 and i'll be advertising only tunnel interface ip okay I won't be ad advertising our public network right so that's not the agenda here what we'll be using uh, like uh, we, we will be advertising our loopback interface and our tunnel interface ip so that uh, even in r3 we'll be doing the same right uh, we're gonna um, advertise our um, loopback interface and tunnel interface ip so that we'll be having a neighborship okay so we'll be forming a neighborship and um, we are expecting uh, uh, like you know a reachability full full reachability across the tunnel only okay so that's the agenda here so let's quickly jump in in r1 and r3 and do our configuration okay um, i'll go on r1 and <coughs> uh, a router eigrp give give the number any anything you want i'll give it 10 only um, no auto summary network 1.1.1.1 1 .1 .1 .1. okay uh 1.1.1.0 .1 network 12.1.1 I'm, I'm sorry not 12 right it's our public 193.168.20.0 uh, okay so what i have done i have advertised my loopback interface and my talent interface ip similarly go on r3 and do the same router eigrp 10 um no auto summary network 3.3.3.0 right so see i haven't advertised my loopback interface right so i haven't seen so i haven't seen any um eigrp uh message over, over in my screen right so as soon as i'll advertise my loopback uh, sorry my tunnel interface that's 193.168.20.0 see i'm getting an eigrp neighborship messages right so the, so i have an adjacency with my tunnel interface only see it's an tunnel interface okay so even in r1 the expectation is same okay i'll be uh, having a neighborship with a tunnel like with, with the ip address which belongs to the tunnel interface only right so what next let's verify a couple of things more okay um so ip eigrp neighbor see um my neighbor is for r1 my neighbor is 20.2 right and the interface that i'm using for neighborship is tunnel interface only right so this is these are the like you know time version and and so on and so forth right the uptime and <coughs> hold time timer so ip route in so ip route as well when you will see 
wonder 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 when you will see three yes this is the one EIGRP so for reaching out to this address what we are using the IP at the next stop address would be this and from which interface from tunnel interface right so IP EIGRP topology even topology table you will have have that part for reaching out to 3.3.3.3 slash 32 right what we will be using we will be using our tunnel interface right via this IP boom right so let's verify either we can ping our loopback interface from R1 sourced from uh, loopback 0 see we have reachability right so basically from uh, routers R1 loopback interface we are reaching out to R3's loopback interface via the tunnel uh, the virtual tunnel that we have created right so this is a simple GRE lab right just to demonstrate uh, how we can configure the GRE right if you have any doubts on this do let me know in the comment section below right so going further um, like even like you know um, and GRE have some drawbacks okay why we don't use GRE um, in real life uh, okay if you are using and if somehow if you are using then what are the things we need to be like you know consider consider okay like we need to uh, our data is not secure okay our, our data are not encrypted because GRE only provides encapsulation right it doesn't provides any authentication encryption hashing right so for those things uh, GRE is not that safe but yes, you need to have an understanding how to configure GRE, right? We need to uh, play around this just to understand how things work around. Okay, so going further, even I'll, I'll be coming up with some labs, right? Um, so, so this is a base, okay? And uh, so, yes, I think uh, this is a pretty enough. I won't be taking long. Um, thank you so much for watching, and uh, do let me know if you have any doubts in my comment section below. See you until next time. Thank you. Bye bye.